Hello Pisces, I'm going to be doing your how they feel about you reading. This is going to be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It will be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every single Pisces watching. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. And uh, this will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or are in a connection with someone, okay? All right, Spirit, give me some messages for Pisces, please. And the person they are thinking about at this time. I'm going to be looking at your person's current energies, how they view you or the connection, uh, what they wish they could tell you. And then I'll look at your connection um, at this time. So that I'll do that with the tarot. Huge thank you to everyone who has shared, liked, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. All right, Pisces. I was going to say all right, spirit. <laughs> all right, Pisces. Let's look at your person. What are their current energies? Current energies of Pisces person, the person they are thinking about. Thank you. At this time. Okay, we have round and round. Round and round. This is all about kind of uh, repeating patterns, being in an endless cycle or feeling like you're in an endless cycle. What else do we have for the person that Pisces is dealing with? Yin, beautiful energy. This is all about surrender, letting go, going with the flow, letting things unfold naturally. Okay. We got flexible. So definitely somebody here. Oh, wow. And then we got serendipity. You know, three of these cards came out and I think it was Aquarius. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, hopefully that's right. Um, check out that reading because they got yin, flexible and serendipity. Very interesting energy. Uh, serendipity is all about expecting the unexpected, a pleasant surprise, um, fate, you know? And with the inflexible, I feel like your person is kind of letting things happen. Um, no longer trying to control a situation, um, trusting that something might work out. Uh, with round and round, um, I feel like they are stuck in a rut at this time. Um, I don't know if it's in the connection that you guys are both in or if it's just in life. Um, they feel like things are just happening over and over. There's no progression forward. It's kind of just kind of stuck in a, in a cycle here with round and round. So we're going to get more into this person's thoughts. But before I get into this, I just want to say um, that uh, any situation I talk about today could have already happened be currently happening or happening in the near future because time is fluid and the roles can be flipped. So I could be talking about you or the person you are in connection with. Okay. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more. That's how energy works. All right. So let's see, how does this person, what are their thoughts or feelings regarding you or this connection spirit? What is this person's thoughts or feelings regarding Pisces or this connection? This person's thoughts or feelings, please, spirit, regarding Pisces or this connection. For Pisces, please. This is the animal spirit deck. I'm going to have all of the decks that I use linked down below if you're interested. For Pisces, please. Thoughts or feelings. Okay. Okay, that one wanted to come out. The fox, interesting. Fox is very clever, sneaky, but they tend to be lifelong partners. So they're very strategic, very smart, intelligent. This person could think that you're a very smart person. They could think of you as long-term potential. They could also be thinking about, you know, strategizing on how to approach you. Phoenix, beautiful energy here with the Phoenix. This is all about a rebirth. Your person could be wanting a rebirth with you, a second chance, a brand new start here with the Phoenix. Beautiful card. I love that card so much. So pretty. Anything else for the way that this person feels about Pisces or this connection spirit? Any other insight? 
Wow, elephant. These are beautiful cards. Um, so with the elephant, we have an obstacle that needs to be removed. So this person's thinking that there's an obstacle getting in the way of them getting to you. They want a possibly a, a second chance here, a new beginning. I think this is going to be unexpected, Pisces. Um, this person, I feel like they're really trusting in the process, trusting and trying to be flexible, or they might be wanting you to be flexible with them, you know, um, to work with them on this. Let's get some more insight. What would this person tell you if they could? I like a little bug or something on my table. What would this person tell you if they had the chance? Spirit, what would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? What would they say? What would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? What would this person say if they had the chance for Pisces? What would this person say they have the chance for Pisces? Okay, we got there will be communication. So this person's gonna wanna talk to you. What would this person say? They have the chance. I still check up on you. Social media most likely, through friends. What else? What else for this person? What would they say? Well, that was a lot. What would this person tell Pisces? Let's connect. Very interesting. So I think that the conversation coming in will be about connecting in some way, possibly reconnecting. Bottom of the deck, trust. I do get the sense that this is the energy, that yin flexible energy here where someone's kind of just trusting in things unfolding here, trusting that things will work out for them. So let's get into your connection as a whole here. Now, before I start, I just want to say, <laughs> I've gotten some comments about people being confused um, in some of my readings, and that's because energy is not black and white, okay? So I could be talking about you, you know, I'm, I'm looking at your connection together. So I could be talking about anything that affects you, Pisces, anything that affects your person, and how you affect each other, right? And so there's no such thing in tarot as like, oh, this one card is for this one particular person for this one particular situation. That's not how energy works. So I'm gonna try to be clear, <laughs> but it's difficult when there's so many people watching and I have so many different messages that are coming through. You know, one card does not mean just one thing, especially when it's connected to others. One more shuffle. Just wanted to say that before I start. I'm going to try not to be confusing, but it is what it is. All right, so let's see. What can you tell me about this connection between Pisces and this person at this time? Spirit, what can you tell me about this connection between Pisces and this person at this time? Four of Cups reversed. Death. Okay, so there's that Phoenix card. Sign of Scorpio here with the death card. Um, endings bringing new beginnings. With the Four of Cups reversed, so far what I'm seeing here is someone who is having renewed interest, a change of heart. There's that message coming in with the Page of Wands. Page of Cups reversed. So there was some sort of heartbreaking situation that happened here that left someone a little bit cold with the Queen of Swords reversed. This is someone who's been through a lot, who's been hurt in the past. And I feel like when she's reversed, um, by the way, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Uh, when the Queen of Swords is reversed, it's almost like she's had enough. And now it's almost like she is revengeful. She's bitter. She is tired. She is thinking that she's been hurt so much. Why doesn't she do some of the hurting? So I feel like whatever happened here with the Page of Cups reversed, it was very painful. I don't know if it was in this particular situation, Pisces, or just over time in love, you've just been 
It's been heartbreak after heartbreak. And so you're a little bit shut off here, emotionally at least. What I see here is someone's having a change of heart. Someone wants to transform a situation, put down a burden here and begin something new. Um, something that possibly was heartbreaking at some time here. Maybe healing some heartbreak. I am going to clarify all of these uh, with a different deck, but that's what I see so far. And with that Phoenix card, I am really getting the same energy here with the death card. It's all about uh, transformations, um, endings to have a new beginning here. All right, I'm gonna be using the Light Seer's Tarot to clarify. So wait, help me clarify, please, these messages. I'm trying to not move my cards too much. Clarify these messages for Pisces, please. Um, in terms of uh, signs so far, I have Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. However, don't get so hung up on the signs, guides. Um, every single tarot card has a sign attached. So literally during one video, you'll have almost every single sign show up. Um, it's more about the energies, about the messages behind the cards, right? So let's start with this Four of Cups reverse. For Pisces, please, what can you tell me about this Four of Cups reverse spirit? Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, someone used to be in their head about um, this change of heart, almost like they were overthinking this this renewed interest. This this it's almost like it, it, maybe it took them by surprise that they wanted something that they didn't want in the past. Um, that they've changed their mind about something. Um, I feel like this person really like was overthinking this, this change of heart, changing their mind here with the eight of swords uh, in reverse. And it's like, they're getting out of that. They're coming out of that mental prison that they've put themselves in that struggle. Tell me more about this four of cups in reverse. Two of Pentacles, a decision being made here with the Two of Pentacles, weighing the pros and cons. And that's probably why it took this person, um, I, it's probably why they were kind of stuck in their head because they were really thinking this through. Tell me more about the Four of Cups in reverse. This could be the person you're dealing with or this could be you, Pisces. Remember, these are mutual energies. So both of you are down here. Anything else for Pisces? regarding this four of cups reversed please queen of cups reversed um so this person definitely took their time i feel making this decision this decision or this realization was not easy someone was in their feelings about this it probably took them longer to make a decision because they were emotionally invested and they were also emotionally unbalanced here so when you are the queen of cups reversed um, you're not thinking very clearly. Your, your judgment is clouded. Your intuition is blocked because you're so overwhelmed emotionally. There's, there's the, the balance is off. This person tends to be clingy, this queen of cups, um, a little bit, um, of a manipulative energy because they're so overwhelmed with their emotion. They can't, it's almost like they're lashing out emotionally and, uh, maybe guilt tripping or, or bringing things up from the past, that kind of energy. So I think somebody here, their intuition was blocked. Their, 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 they weren't able to make a, a, a good or clear decision. And that kind of made them take some time and, and trying to grapple with this change of heart. Maybe they're also worried that it's too late. You know, I changed my mind too late. Will they even be interested? Will they even want me? Tell me about this death card. What's this ending about? For Pisces, what's this ending about? Ace of Wands. So something here wasn't able to get off the ground. Something here was not, it was over before it began. And I feel like someone decided to end this and have a new beginning somewhere else. Tell me more about this death card. Okay, we got Nine of Pentacles reverse and Queen of Wands reverse, kind of in limbo there. I don't know if that was completely reversed, but I'll just take them kind of in limbo. Um, so when I see these two cards here, and they're kind of sideways, you know, 
Um, I'm thinking that someone here is not fully single, not fully free. Um, they could be dependent on someone else. They could be just feeling very insecure right now. And then this Queen of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here again. And again, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio over here with the Queen of Cups. But with the Queen of Wands kind of in limbo there, this is someone who has possibly um, is trying to take action towards something, but their their own uh, uh, impulse, they're, they're, they're almost like... Um, they're not thinking too clearly here in terms of what action they want to take. So something didn't work out. Someone wants to end something to have a transformation, but they don't have the resources right now or the confidence and they don't really, um, they, they haven't really moved forward completely. Queen of Wands upright. She takes action. She gets things done. She's, she is the boss. Like she, nothing stops her. She always gets what she wants. And when she's reversed, she gets what she wants no matter the cost. She doesn't care who she hurts or who she inconveniences. So um, also she tends to be a little bossy, a little short-tempered. Not, again, not very in control of her emotions, just like the Queen of Cups. Now, this could be affecting which, just, which route this person takes. But I also want to mention, because I have two queens, so there could be two different people involved here. And they're both kind of off balance. This could be you, Queen of Cups in reverse Pisces, or you could even be this Queen of Wands reverse. It doesn't have to be the sign. It's the energy of, you know, go after the energy here or, you know, take it how it resonates with the energy. Have you been, you know, trying to put an end to something and not sure how to do it, how to go about it and feeling blocked here with the Queen of Wands reversed? Are you also struggling with feeling like you want to just take risks, be reckless, have a short temper, short fuse regarding something here? So that's what I see is two different people handling different situations here. One's having a change of heart. The other one wants to change the situation completely, possibly end it. Ten of Wands reverse. This is someone who needs to put down a burden. The burden is just too overwhelming to carry. So let's see. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse about? Yeah. Eight of Cups. So someone here, it's too much for them and they're leaving. Or it could be that someone left and they're just overwhelmed by this. Tell me about this Eight of Wands, uh, Ten of Wands in reverse, please. Three of Wands. So someone's waiting for the right time to make this move. They've already put some steps or they've made some steps to making this happen. Um, now they're just waiting for the right time here, waiting for something to come in, maybe waiting for the green light here. Now the Swords Reverse. So it looks like there's some sort of um, interception here. A message being intercepted or um, a blockage here based off of, well, the Knight of Swords. So it's almost like mentally, a mental block in terms of truth, honesty, clarity. That's being blocked right now. That could be what you're waiting for is clarity, waiting for something to come through, a certain message, a certain, you know, approval, something like that, um, in order to fully drop this burden and walk away from something. Bottom of the deck there is the High Priestess. So it's almost like you know intuitively um, that this is that this is something that you're going to, it's gonna happen. You might be blocked right now, um, but your inner voice is telling you, your intuition is telling you it's time to go. Either, either you or the person you're dealing with, Pisces. Yeah, look at that. Death right behind the High Priestess. Definitely their intuition telling them that it's time to end something, to transform a situation. Tell me about Page of Wands. I think this is the communication coming in, a message coming in to begin something new. Can you tell me about the Page of Wands? Five of Cups reverse. So someone wants to come back here. Um, someone misses you or someone's not over the past. Um, they want to come back to you. This is Five of Cups reverse is regaining what you've lost. What else with the Page of Wands? Let's 
nine of swords reverse so someone here is overcoming the stress and the anxiety notice there's the eight of swords reverse over here nine of swords reverse over here this is basically taking off the blindfold finding a way out of feeling trapped no longer feeling anxious stressed or scared about something so someone has overcome their fears in order to make this happen. Tell me more about this page of wands. Spirit, please tell me more about this page of wands. The emperor reversed Aries energy here. So it's almost like it's out of this person's control, whatever happens, however this message is re received. Someone here is feeling powerless or like they, they don't have control over the situation. It's, it's basically not in their in their hands or in their power to make this happen. The Emperor Upright, he usually just gets things done. He, he is a, a doer. He is um, a warrior. He's a boss. So I think when he's reversed, he, he can mean a few things. But since I have these two cards that are kind of positive here, I really get the sense that the Emperor is feeling like maybe he's lacking a little bit of confidence because it's not in his control however this goes down bottom of the deck five of pentacles reverse definitely someone wanting to come out of the cold here if there hasn't been a lot of communication between you um someone wants to communicate and come out of the cold tell me about this page of cups reverse i really am getting the sense that um someone here where there's the ace of wands reversed queen of wands and nine of pentacles with the death card i think that's that round and round energy where the, it's ace of wands reversed there's no there's no progression there's no creating there's no manifesting um and i think that's been heartbreaking for someone here tell me about this page of cups reverse the wheel beautiful the wheel is here, the wheel of fortune. So time is of the essence here. Divine timing is at play and, and it, the wheel's turning in your favor. So it's almost like, wow, six of cups. Six of cups, guys. Upright before anybody says that my cards are all reversed. <laughs> um, so definitely this could be someone from the past, someone you have a strong connection with. It doesn't have to be an ex. Could just be a past life type of connection or someone you just have a lot of memories with um there's a lot of people in our past it doesn't have to be someone that we've actually been with um but it feels like the wheel is turning here to bring back the past tell me more about this page of cups reverse this is good luck on your side and there's the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles reverse is just a knight who he ends, he still completes his mission, but he's blocked all along the way. So he's delayed. He's delayed. He's probably been delayed because he's dealing with a, a difficult situation or it has not been the right time. Bottom of the deck, page of swords reversed. Behind that, I have the tower. Oh, wow. So something here, a huge shakeup is taking place here. Um, there's been a tower moment or there will be a tower moment that will cause an ending Ten of Swords. Definitely. And it's going to be based off of possibly deception, miscommunication. Um, something here with the, with the Page of Swords reverse is just not communicated well. Or it's like white lies or misrepresented, etc, etc. Um, so I do get the sense that there's going to be a tower moment that's going to change the outcome here. That's going to turn this wheel and it has something to do with the past. There's communication coming in. Someone's watching you. Someone wants to reconnect with you. Someone needs to put an end to a situation they currently are in, in order to make this happen. Someone has to walk away in order to make this happen over here. Um, there's an offer coming in that's just delayed a message coming in tell me more about this page of cups reverse for Pisces please two of swords reversed 
So again, um, this could be in someone's head, this, this delay. Someone unable or blocked from making a decision with the Two of Swords reversed. Someone has maybe finally made a decision, but they're still going to be blocked. Again, Five of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. Someone wants to get out of this energy of feeling abandoned or left out or being shut out here. And I think this is going to be unexpected. Whatever whatever message comes in for you, uh, Pisces, is going to be unexpected. And I'm pretty sure your last reading also had to do with a message. So I think this is possibly a continuation of that. Or this is for the rest of you that maybe that didn't resonate, maybe this will. I feel like there's a lot of signs communicating because of all the planetary movements. So Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Pisces. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know if this resonated with you in the comments. I love to hear from you. And I hope to see you in another video. Take care.